Thank you for joining us on the program tonight. Our sign language interpreter is William Silla. We want to start off our bulletin today with a debate that has hit social media sites once again with criticism and outrage over the proposed regulations to control the production and sale of fresh produce. Now, of particular concern to most people are the proposals to remove that lady or man who sells at random corners in the estates and restrict them to designated marketplaces. KTN's senior reporter Carol Derry took the regulations out to the Mamambogas, and this is the story that came out. They were at it again. The hashtag Mamamboga was all the rage with Kenyans taking to Twitter to express their fury over the proposed laws that will regulate the sale of certain fresh produce. Tweets came in fast and furious, a majority in support of that Mamamboga who sells her produce in the estates. Now, here is the contention. A set of rules proposed by the government-based authority, Agriculture, Fisheries and Food Authority, bears heavily on the Mamamboga as she cannot continue with business as usual. Men too partake in this estate's green grocer business. The proposed regulations as stipulated in Section 27 state that certain produce can only be sold at designated areas such as markets with the approval of the authority and the county governments. This list states which foods will be regulated. It comprises cereals such as maize, rice, millet, sorghum wheat, legumes such as beans, soya beans, cow peas, pigeon peas, and roots and tubers such as Irish potatoes, sweet potatoes, and cassava. Whoever will sell these foods outside specific market areas will be liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 500,000 shillings or imprisonment for a period not exceeding one year or both. Teresa Wangare is a greengrocer and this is the business that feeds her two children. The new rules do not make sense to her, she says. Views expressed by her fellow greengrocers in the estates. To many, the Mamamboga Kibanda is a one-stop shop where they can conveniently buy food partly prepared for them, such as chopped skuma wiki, peeled potatoes, boiled beans, you name it. A favorite especially for career people who get home late from work and in between traffic jams and the hassle have no time for elaborate dinner preparations. From El Geo Maraquet, where potato farmers and vendors abound. So, to Thika in Kiambu County, where traders aggressively sell all kinds of agricultural produce. Kituka hii waru na uza kidogo, tuminzi na uza kidogo, atuizi na pata tu, riziki yangu. The proposed rules have shaken the country long before they are approved by stakeholders. And as the regime debate continues, what remains to be seen is what direction the stakeholders will take in light of the views expressed by the traders themselves, and that is of anger and disbelief. Carol Derry, KTN, Nyeri.